Part 3? Whoa, this is getting super long. Too long, I would say. Hello, people. Welcome back to Rain 2 with Rain here. Konnichiwa, Rain this. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't listened to my part 1 and 2 of AO8 promotion series, I'll put it down in the description box below or up here in the cards. Last time I talked about Fanta with Ido plus the showcase, now we jump to 2020. A few months later in January 2020, we all know that Wanosu is gonna promote again and hold a concert both in Osaka and Tokyo. I couldn't come to their concert because I'll be outside of Japan so to make up time, I came to their mini live and fan sign again. January 31st, 2020, the event was at Diverse City, Tokyo. If you don't know, it's the place that is known for that huge Gundam outside and it can move you all. My intention was going to get tickets for a Raven's fan sign because I really want to talk to him. So I bought some more copies and guess what? I landed again on a photo chance with one of the to be honest, on that day, I wasn't even in my full makeup, so I had to run to a drugstore nearby. And thank goodness, inside the mall there was Matsukiyo. I also got a ticket for handshake with Kony, but I sold it to another fan. The mini life was the same as the one that I told you at Ikebukuro one. If you haven't listened slash watched that one, I said I'll put it down below or up in the cards. Now I'll just jump to the photo session. Photo session was hilarious for me because I saw two fans wearing Pokemon onesies. Uh, it was Pikachu and Snorlax. I remember that day or a few days before two moons were talking about Raven's po Pokemon obsession. So literally the ones who brought or wore Pokemon stuffs are probably Raven's stands. Oh, and shout out as well to a Soho stan who cheered so loud during the performance segment and brought Pepe along with her. How the photo session went, I brought Score Bunny on purpose to surprise Raven. Only Raven, my friends. Kim Yongjo only. But you know what happened? The whole gang went crazy. If you don't know which one score bunny, I'll put a picture of it here on the screen. Raven screamed, Pokemon! Is that Pokemon? His eyes looked like he want to hug score bunny so badly. Raven, sweetie, I would love to let you hug my score bunny doll, but will the staffs let you do so? <laughs> Hwanung went super excited and he said more or less, Oh, is that a Pokemon that the kicking one that imitates Scorbunny kicking? I said yes and copied Hwanung who imitated Scorbunny. Then as usual, sit down, photo, say thank you, and left. Here's my ugly drawing again to show you how it looked like. I'm not okay that my bias records were literally on my left and right. I remembered people screaming because for that day's photo session, Raven is right beside the fan, kneeling down, and it felt like a glorious moment for Yongjo's dance. Before Wanus went backstage, they waved to the fans. I waved my score bunny doll and I think Hwanu noticed me. Let's jump to February 2020. I was thinking to make a separate episode for this one, but since there weren't a lot of things happening on that day, I decided to combine it to today's. The main thing is I bought a signed ticket from a fan to get Raven's autograph and talk to him a bit. I brought my score bunny doll of course, without expecting him to remember me. But he remembered me. You think I was surprised? I was. And still am surprised to this moment. During the fan sign, he just babbled about Pokemon. He told me that he plays Pokemon Sword and Shield, and his starter is. 
try to guess people leave me some comments down below on which one pokemon sword or shield that he plays and which starter did he choose to make it short i told him that i'm ta i'm thankful for the sauce that he made it cheered me up it helped me survive from depression it was hard to say although i said it in english he was surprised because at first he didn't get it somehow that's what i think and i tried to rephrase it my nerves got into me so i didn't say it properly Yongjo, if you're watching this, I'm sorry for not being able to say what I want to say properly. I love your songs. It heals me. And I'm waiting for world shaking bumps from you. He said to me that he's glad that I like his songs. Please continue to listen to one of his songs. Of course, I said yes. Then it's a goodbye. I'm glad the staff in charge did didn't rush me out like other staffs when I had my fan sign with Soho and, and Ido. Thank you, Staff Song. This is the end of my one of the 808 promotion podcast series. Thank you for listening to this super duper long story and I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Hit that notification button so you won't miss any updates from me. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.